let's see. Is this better? Sweet. Um, okay. Um, so I guess what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll start with. Uh, <laughs> sorry for being sideways. I'll start with a. Uh, I'll start with a song, and then um, I will answer some questions, and uh, we'll go from there. So yeah, thanks again to American Songwriter for having me. Uh, this one uh, to start is uh, is called Silver Lining. Um, it was the single on our first record, and uh, part of being in quarantine is finding guitars you can tune to Silver Lining. I don't know if you guys can see this, but uh, this uh, this guitar is my um, uh, girlfriend's, and it's completely cracked open. So I have to tune the one string to a uh, different tuning, but. Here, we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, this one's silver lining. Hopefully, I'm in the right. Uh, hopefully, I'm in the right orientation here.
All right, I'm imagining uh, your claps. Um, so the first question is, uh, what does your writing process typically look like? Um, I think for me, um, it's mostly, uh, I, I often like to just sit with my guitar and I'll turn my voice notes on on my phone and kind of turn my phone over or try to like hide it from myself just to try to capture those moments that, you know, maybe you can kind of trick yourself into not overthinking the writing process. Um, sometimes for me, when I'm like really thinking about like trying to write a good song, it's sort of like, um, sort of like going backwards because uh, a lot of the best stuff for me just sort of comes when I'm free and doing what I love to do, which is just play and sing and, and express myself. So yeah, I usually kind of like hide a, a, an iPhone or something like that and, uh, and just play. Um, yeah, uh, how often do you write solo as opposed to co-writes? Um, I know for this, uh, for the last album, there were no co-writes, um, you know, other than uh, occasionally, like, bandmates uh, obviously contribute to, to songwriting, but in terms of, like, outside of the, uh, outside of the band, uh, there were none for the first record. This one, um, there was, I'm making sure I don't miss anyone, but, uh, this one I had a chance to write uh, with Adam Melcher, um, which led to uh, some contributions on a couple songs. That was really great. He's amazing. If you uh, if you haven't checked out Adam Melcher, totally check out his music too. He's another just an incredible songwriter, and that that was really cool to to work with him for a couple songs. Um, cool. I think I'll I'll stop it there, and I will go into. Another one from the first record. Um, and I think the way we'll do this is I'm gonna play one more from the, the last record and then we'll switch into new songs and I'm gonna play uh, I'm gonna play one song we haven't released yet as well, um, which I'm excited to do because it's one of my favorites from the album. Um, I saw someone in the comments said that they were trying to wash my hands and learn how to play along. Um, I think we're an annoying band to do that because we play in a lot of weird tunings. That particular song is an open C. So if you want to follow my hands, uh, it's going to be helpful to tune your guitar to open C. This one, as I tune right now, is actually a lot of our songs on the first record. This is a, a guitar tuned standard um, intervals, but C to C instead of E to E. So again, if you're following my hands, um, then that will look really weird. Um, okay, cool. This, this, one's, um, this one's the first song we ever released, which uh, is called Astro Man.
again, you know Jesus drives an astro van. Yes, he does. get to some more questions here. Uh, this, what's the story behind Astrovan and what inspired it? Um, this is one of the first songs, like I said, it was the first song we released. It was one of the first songs we wrote, I guess, technically like as Mount Joy. Um, and I was living in LA at the time and seeing people obviously have a lot of success out there in the entertainment industry, but certainly not having any of it myself. And, uh, it was sort of a joke. The idea of it was, you know, sort of to pursue your dreams, um, even if there's kind of no money behind it. Because at the end of the day, I was, you know, working a job that I wasn't enjoying and it wasn't fulfilling my life in any way. Uh, and so the song is just sort of this goofy idea of like, you know, I pictured uh, Jesus like rolling down Sunset Strip and being this guy who's kind of like a, a work, or you know, like a, an up and coming songwriter and. I imagine that like, you know, instead of having like a fancy car, like a lot of the people do in LA, he would have a van and people would still love him and stuff. So that was, that was kind of the joke. And then it obviously expanded into a much bigger song. And it's pretty funny, all the places that, that we played that song. Um, the, do you take into account how the song is going to sound live during the writing process? I think less so on the first record because there was, you know, there wasn't really any way to imagine what type of crowds we would play, and you know, festivals and all that stuff weren't on our minds, so um, I think it was more like, you know, just trying to write goofy songs and and and, and poignant songs as well, but uh, there wasn't a whole lot about the live, you know, process in terms of the songwriting, but I do think in the second record that that was a big part of it, was trying to think about, you know, our new life as a touring band and, and how we could make a record that that uh, accomplished a great live show as well. Um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna play another one. This one is from the uh, from the new um, the new album that's upcoming. Uh, we've already released this one. It's called Strangers. Um, it's been fun to like try to figure out how to do this. Uh, you know, I miss playing with my band uh, and one of the main reasons is trying to figure out the arrangements to some of these songs that we like collaborated on. So I've sort of started playing this Strangers riff that uh, Jackie has an incredible piano riff on this song and my whistling doesn't do it any justice, but um, I'll give it a shot. Love will be a red 
just like if you want freedom, you better free song. Better not wrong while I'm hanging on. Like if you want freedom, you better free song. Better not wrong when I'm black. song from our upcoming record uh, called Strangers. Uh, and once again, I'm Matt from Mount Joy, and uh, thank you, American Songwriter, for having me. This is really cool. Um, I'm going to do one more. I'm going to answer some questions, I guess, about that one. Uh, what has your songwriting process been like in quarantine? <laughs> um, I was actually just talking about this today. It's been good in a sense, you know, I mean, we... Uh, kind of got dropped off. We were on a tour with the Lumineers um, and when they closed down the NBA because those guys play basketball arenas, we, uh, we got kicked off as well. So if you can remember when the NBA went down, we came back here and uh, we, I, I've been, you know, all I took was this guitar off of our, you know, and the rest of our stuff went to storage. So thankfully, I mean, obviously this has lasted way longer than anyone thought and uh, but thankfully I've just had this guitar, so the songwriting process has just been kind of throwback, like just sitting uh, by myself with my guitar and really nothing else to do. Um, and it's been fun. I mean, a lot of it has been like me trying to write goofy songs, uh, just to try to lift my spirits, and there have been some funny ones so far. Uh, how have you stayed motivated, inspired to keep writing? I mean, for me, it's easy just because writing and playing guitar and stuff has always been sort of my escape from anxiety and and all of that stuff so I mean there's plenty of anxiety and and you know depression and stuff going around right now so I've almost turned to songwriting I guess to, to sort of deal with all of that um, have you been a part of any virtual co-writes I have not I have not been a part of any virtual co-writes we've done um, we've done some as a band just like you know some virtual uh, sessions with songs and stuff and just like using a click track and Kind of sending each other the parts and building off of that which has been an interesting experience and one that i'm hopeful ends relatively soon um and i guess i should say with all the stuff that i said before just uh, that our hearts go out to anyone that is like 
you know, really dealing with health problems as a result of all of this. Uh, certainly coming from New York City, uh, I witnessed just how horrible and terrible this can be and how much pain it can inflict on people. So while I say that it's been hard for us, I know that it's been significantly harder for, for people and, and definitely our hearts go out to those people. Um, so hopefully maybe if, if, if someone who's been impacted by all this is watching, hopefully it can be a relief. Um, this next one is a, is a new song that we, we haven't released yet. Um, and there's a bit of a backstory to this one, just that it's, it's the song title is, is Death. Um, and obviously it was written before a massive pandemic swept through, and, uh, it's, but it's really truly a song about the opposite um, and the sort of importance of leaning into your friends and, and choosing sort of a path of, of, of life and light uh, at times when, uh, when things get dark. So hopefully, um, despite the title and the, the refrain, um, people can be uplifted by it. So this is the first time I've ever played it. Uh, I, I guess we've played it live a couple times, but this is the first time I played it in any of these sort of live stream stuff. So the song is called Death. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Mm, we can do better tuning wise. American songwriters are gonna be mad at me.
hopefully people can see through the title. Um, just a couple more questions here. Uh, it says, what's the best songwriting advice you've ever received? Um, it's a good question. Um, I think the best songwriting advice I've ever received was I was watching a thing, and I think it was Paul McCartney, and someone was asking him about songwriting, and, uh, and he basically said, like, paraphrasing, but just that they're, you know, taking advice on songwriting is sort of a, sort of pointless in and of itself, because I think the best songwriting sort of comes from, um, you know, comes from within you and within something that you're trying, you've been trying to get out of yourself. And, and I think all songwriters sort of have that, um, in them where they, you know, there's something when they're just strumming some chords and, and if you find a weird path to go down, definitely chase it and don't, don't ever, for me at least, I know that there, there are different styles, but for me, I never try to follow any sort of convention or anything like that, you know, within reason, of course. But yeah, I just think if you're, um, if, if you're, you know, copying someone else or, or really trying to, to, to fit your song into a formula, I think you've already kind of lost. Um, and I guess that the next question was, what advice would you give to aspiring songwriters? And that's what I would say. I would just, um, yeah, just, it's got to come from you and, and don't be afraid uh, to be to be yourself and be whoever that person is, whether it's funny or sad or whatever. And, and don't don't try to uh, to overthink it. I mean, I think for me, that's my biggest challenge is just not overthinking it and just letting it be kind of to use another <laughs> Beatles reference, I guess. But um, yeah, guys, thank you so much. And thank you to American Songwriter for letting me hijack your Facebook for this long. Um, I will get going, but please check out our album uh, and our music. We have a new album coming out on June 5th, um, and we uh, are going to be releasing, I think, some potentially some new songs before that, so uh, check out our music at Mount Joy, and again, thank you to everyone. Uh, I wish I could answer all of the questions and stuff, but we'll be back soon. Keep an eye on our stuff at Mount Joy Band. Thank you, American Songwriter, again. Thank you, guys.